What is up, guys? Welcome to the Intuitive Souls podcast. I, <laughs> oh man, if you just witnessed the craziness that just happened in my house, if you were a fly on the wall, you'd be laughing your ass off right now, and I'm going to tell you why. So, I went to Trader Joe's yesterday, and I got the matcha green tea latte mix. It's one of my all-time favorite things to get at, at Trader Joe's, and I'm sure everyone knows what it's all about. It's absolutely delicious. And I've been getting this product for so many years, okay? And every time that I would make myself a hot latte, I would heat up almond milk, okay? So I'm getting all excited because I'm fasting and within two minutes, I'm going to be able to get off my fast and actually eat food. So I'm kind of hangry right now. I'm kind of frantic and I'm running around my house trying to find the box of almond milk. I know, I know that I have it somewhere. I do. I always, always grab at least two to three cartons anytime I see it because I know that I use it often. So with that being said, I can't find it anywhere. I'm looking through all of the cabinets. I'm looking through anywhere that it could possibly be. Possibly be. I'm running <laughs> down the stairs to my basement where I store some more food. I can't find it there. I know I have at least two cartons. I'm like hangry and I'm going crazy and I'm trying to do it. I'm trying to find this almond milk because I always made this latte with heated up almond milk and it's delicious. And I'm getting upset and I'm getting frustrated because I'm like, where is this almond milk? Right? So I literally have run down my stairs twice, going up and down, looking in places that I know it cannot possibly be because for the longest time, this is how I have created my green tea latte from Trader Joe's. So I'm getting frustrated. I'm fucking hungry, guys. I'm getting off a, what, 16 or 18 hour fast. So, you know, like that feeling of like absolute hunger and frustration or everything. So I'm right there. And then I'm standing in my kitchen looking at this container of the green tea latte. And I just go and look at it and it reads, hold on, let me just grab this. Hold on. You can hear me opening my door and everything right now because this is how we do things. Okay, now I can't even find the green tea latte container because I'm, s okay, here's the green tea latte container. So I just start looking at this and I see the directions <laughs> and the directions to create a hot cup is mix five tablespoons with 10 ounces of hot water. Water. <laughs> hot water. Okay, so I have been frantically running around my house trying to find almond milk when I could have easily just made my green tea latte with water. Okay, and I'm just kind of allowing spirit to speak through me right now because I truly see lessons in everything. There are so many interwoven golden nuggets of wisdom with everything that happens and transpires in our life. And I guess what this experience for me was this. Sometimes, okay, we do things a certain way and it becomes a habit. It becomes hereditary and it works, okay? But then something can shift, something can happen, you can find yourself in a different state. And then you begin to realize that you've been doing it wrong all along. You've been creating your life, not necessarily the way that you have intended it to be created. And I know this is absolutely like this bitch is talking about Trader Joe's green tea lattes. And now she's going all fucking esoteric. Yes, I am. Welcome to the Intuitive Souls podcast. This is how we roll here. But what I'm trying to say is this. We can have the best intentions for ourselves. We can really want what is best for us, for our families, and for everything. 
and we can do it a certain way. We can speak a certain way. We can think that we're doing something that's going to take us to that next level self. And then we have a hangry fasting moment where we will then realize that there are different ways to do it. And sometimes there is a lot of power in the pivot. Life is going to throw curveballs and life is going to just, it's the ultimate teacher. It really, truly is. And sometimes, <laughs> just like today, I was completely humbled. If you, I wish you guys saw, I was so frantic. I was like, where is the almond milk? Like I was frantic. Okay. Because I'm hungry. It's only because I'm hungry. But when I'm trying to just let the, I'm just letting this flow. I'm just letting this flow guys. It's okay to pivot. It's okay to be humble. It's okay to be human. Sometimes the smallest things can have the biggest breakthroughs. Sometimes the tiniest moments in our life, whether that is having a conversation with someone and they say something in a certain way, or maybe it's reading a book over again and seeing a phrase or a paragraph that hits differently. Sometimes it's okay to go back to the basics, go back to where you started. And I guess in this situation, where I started was just looking at the directions. How many times have you bought something from Wayfair or Amazon where you had to put it together yourself? And you got so fucking frustrated and it's all botchy and you, you have screws that you don't know where they're supposed to go. And then the thing that you were creating is just a piece of shit. <laughs> and every, I am just calling myself out on this episode. That's just how I roll. But here, I guess, uh, it's not I guess. What I'm trying to say is this. Go back to basics reread the directions. See if you're missing something. See if something else can come out of just going back to the basics. Sometimes we think we know everything. I thought, I thought for years, I thought for fucking years that you created the latte mix with like almond milk or coconut milk or oat milk. The directions are right on the, on the container. You make it with water. What am I doing? What, see what I'm saying? Like, let your mistakes guide you. They can only teach you. You're bound to fuck up, but let them teach you. Go back to the basics. Okay? Sometimes you can be on a path. And, you know, definitely the spiritual path or the personal growth path. This path is filled with so much information and epiphanies and breakthrough moments. And we can get to a place in our mind where it's like, I need more. I need more. I need to work with them more on a one-on-one -on -one level, or I need to do this, or I need to take this expensive course where it's okay. If the money isn't there at that moment where you have this epiphany, that is okay. Because Sometimes you have to take a step back and actually just go back to the beginning. Go through all of the things and all of the things that you have already learned and acquired. Go through all of the favorite podcast episodes and, and online content and YouTube videos and meditations. Just go back to the basics. We are creatures of habit if I haven't been a walking, talking example of this. We, we live through habitual actions. And sometimes those actions aren't necessarily the right ones. Sometimes they're not the ones that you should be taking to get to where you want to go. So become aware of your patterns. Become aware that... Trader Joe's Grande Green Tea Latte Powder doesn't need almond milk. You make it with water. You make it with water. So, as always, I hope that this gets to the right person. I hope that my rambling on is exactly what you need. 
go back to the basics, reread the directions, take a breath, close your eyes, go within. That's usually the answer. Just like when our computers start to act weird, we reboot them, we turn them off. Just when the internet begins to get all botchy, even the people at the cable company says, turn it off and restart it. Restart, let yourself restart. Be humble, let the lessons teach you. All right guys, maybe you just heard my crazy neighbor. Okay, she's screaming, all right. Have a wonderful day, guys. I'll see you soon.